Hi YouTube, this is Wild Wanderer 777 I'm going to do a quick explanation of how I built a Geiger counter speaker for my Victorine Geiger counter. So, there you can see it. It's nothing really special. You can get these, well nowadays they're pretty expensive, uh, but used to be you can get these for a few bucks. It's just an old Victorine uh, Geiger counter. I bought it on eBay. Um, let's see, what was the guy's name? Uh, Paleo something. Really nice guy. Kind of slow shipping, but he was on vacation, so I had to let that pass. So anyway, I'll turn this on just while we're sitting around. Um, well, I'm sitting around. So what I did is I took an old... This right here is a uh, just a regular old uh, headphone cord. It's the plug that comes with the headphone. That was my finger in the camera lens, you could see. Anyway, I took the, the cord, and I bought this. It come, You can get just the cord from, there's a fellow on the internet, and I'll post that uh, address online so you can, so you can buy your own. Um, and then I wired it into this, uh, this little, uh, fairly inexpensive little uh, Radio Shack. It's a model... 273079 Piezo Piezo Siren. Um, and what I had to do is I took the, the guts out of it. There's two little screws and a and then there's a capacitor or two and some other junk inside. I just took that out and then wired the cord directly to the speaker. Um, I did I don't remember if I had to pay attention to negative or positive, but uh, um, I don't think it hurts them anyway. It didn't hurt it very much. That little speak, that little siren was five dollars and eighty cents at at uh, Radio Shack. It was dirt cheap. I think this uh, I think this little this little thing cost me almost that much. But anyway, the other thing I did um, because I didn't want to uh, drill any holes in the side of my my Geiger counter, I wanted to leave it as original as possible. I, uh, oh, little happy face, look at that little happy face, yay! <laughs> I took an old computer magnet, and I don't even know what innered part of the computer it came out of, but it's just a rare earth magnet, it's fairly strong, and I just scraped a nice uh, flat and clean surface, and used uh, some uh, wood glue, that's actually Gorilla Glue, it's the, it's the kind that foams up when you put it in, so I, I just... Uh, I just put a little bit of that on and uh, pressed it in place firmly and left it overnight next day. Click! It goes right on. And it, it you know, it's pretty secure. Um, so, and it works really good. Uh, I'll take the, I'll take the little, uh, the sensor off and put it next to the test source. And you can see that it, uh, not only can you see it on the dial, but you can also hear it. Which is the whole reason I wanted it. It makes this makes this little toy kind of a lot a little a lot more fun. Um, if you have kids that wanna that wanna mess with it, uh, you know, and and he, it's a lot more fun for them to hear it. And this is a little more convenient for me than than uh, carrying a set of headphones on around and, and finding a place for them and uh, not that I mean they're cool but it's just kind of nice to if you're if you're not by yourself to have that little speaker so uh, for maybe 15 bucks I don't know I'll post the the uh, I'll post the information about these two items in the link below but that's how I did it so anyway uh, thanks YouTube I'll see you later Bye.